dear listeners in our previous lecture we discussed the factors affecting adsorption of gas onto the solid surface and we have also seen the types of adsorption physical adsorption and chemical adsorption physical adsorption that happens because of weaker van der waal forces of attraction between adsorbate and adsorbent and that's why it is reversible in nature it can be reversed just by increasing the temperature or reducing the pressure in case of chemical adsorption being there are chemical bonds which are formed between adsorbent and adsorbate it is irreversible in nature now let us move on and talk about another important thing in adsorption of gases onto the solid particles and that is adsorption isotherm adsorption isotherm is nothing but it is the relationship between amount of gas being adsorbed physically onto the surface of solid and the equilibrium pressure at which this process is taking place we are carrying out this experiment of knowing this relationship bit at constant temperature and that's why it is known as adsorption isotherm when you plot a graph between amount of gas physically adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent against the pressure we get a curve which is known as adsorption isotherm this curve or this relationship can be handled easily in logarithmic form where we can get a straight line and the intercept at the ordinate will give us the value of log k which is constant now when we want to understand how much amount of the gas is getting adsorbed onto the given mass of the adsorbent it can be carried out this experiment can be carried out using simple apparatus which is known as quantasorb which is made up of a glass cylindrical tube which is being degassed and in that tube we have one pan which is hanging with the help of quartz spring quartz is being used for the preparation of the spring because mm -hmm. it is, remains unaffected and it doesn't adsorb any gas onto its surface so the material onto which we want to carry out the adsorption process that solid material is being degassed and it is being kept into the pan and the gas at known equilibrium pressure is being allowed to pass into the tube the gas will be adsorbed onto the surface of the sample of granule or powder and the increase into the weight it can be noticed with the extension of the quartz spring this increase into the weight which will be notified or which we can understand by extension of the quartz spring the calibration is being done of quartz spring extension in terms of the weight so we can understand how much is the increase into the weight corresponding to the equilibrium gas pressure so this thing will be helpful for us to understand the relationship and it can be plotted using different isotherm equations the first adsorption isotherm equation was being given by friendlich which was y is equal to x by m is equal to kp raised to 1 by n y is the mass of the gas x adsorbed per unit mass m of adsorbent and k and n are the constants now this value of k and n can be obtained when you handle friendlich isotherm equation in logarithmic form it is log x by m so the equation which we get it is equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c so you get a straight line when we plot log x by m against log p and the intercept on the ordinate which we get that will give us the value of log k and the slope of the straight line 
will give us the value of 1 by n. Now, the problem with friendly isotherm equation was that it was empirical in nature and there was no theoretical basis for it. It was being considered as if the whole surface of the adsorbent will be available for adsorption, which is actually not the case. And that's why Langmuir came into picture where he derived, de developed and derived an equation which was based on the theory that the molecules or atoms of the gas are adsorbed onto the solid on the active sites of the solid only to form a layer which is one molecular thing or monomolecular layer will be formed. So he said the fraction of the center occupied, it is being represented say by theta. So fractions of sites which are not available onto the surface of adsorbent for adsorption process, it is one minus theta. Now, the rate at which adsorption of a gas molecule will take place onto the surface of adsorbent is proportional to the unoccupied spot that is one minus theta and the pressure of the gas that is P. So it is being put up into equation R1 is equal to K1, one minus theta into P. Now, the way adsorption is taking place, being it is physical adsorption, evaporation can also take place and the rate of evaporation will depend upon how much fractions of the surface is being occupied by the gas molecule that is theta. So it is being put up into equation R2 is equal to K2 into theta. Now we know that at equilibrium, we will have a rate of evaporation and rate of adsorption at equilibrium will be equal to each other. So putting it into equation form, we get K1, 1 minus theta into P is equal to K2 theta. Rearranging this equation, we get K1 upon K2 into P whole divided by 1 plus K1 by K2 into P. Now putting the K1 by K2, for K1 by K2, we are putting B and for theta, we are replacing it by Y by YM. Y is nothing but it is the mass of the gas that get adsorbed per gram of adsorbent at pressure P and constant temperature. Whereas YM is the optimum amount that can be adsorbed of a gas onto one gram of adsorbent to form a monolayer. So complete saturation of adsorbent surface will take place and that quantity is being shown by YM. So when we put the values B and y by ym into the equation, we get final equation. That is y is equal to ym bp upon one plus bp. This is known as Langmuir isotherm equation. Now though we got friendly charge option isotherm equation, which was empirical, not having theoretical basis for it. Langmuir came into picture, came up with the equation which has a theoretical basis where he explained that whole surface of adsorbent will not be available for adsorption. You will have some active sites and inactive sites and that he took into account and came up with a revised adsorption isotherm equation, which is known as Langmuir isotherm equation. Still, when experiments re related to adsorption of various gases onto the different adsorbent surfaces were carried out, it was being observed that there were four, five types of adsorption isotherms which were being obtained and only type 1 adsorption isotherm could have been explained with Langmuir as well as friendly adsorption isotherm equation. So these were the five adsorption isotherms which were obtained. Type 1 is being obtained when ammonia gas get adsorbed onto charcoal. Type 2 is obtained when nitrogen is getting adsorbed onto silica. Type 3 is being obtained when bromine gas getting adsorbed onto the surface of silica. Type 4 adsorption isotherm is obtained when benzene is getting, benzene gas is getting adsorbed onto the silica. And type 5 is being obtained when water vapors are being adsorbed onto the charcoal particles. However, friendly Langmuir isotherm equations were adequate to describe the curves which is being shown in type 1. In type 1, the characteristic of type 1 adsorption isotherm is that 
it takes care of only monolayer formation but when we move on and see type 2 type 3 type 4 and type 5 where multi layer formation is also there once mono layer formation is being completed so that could not be explained by those two isotherm equations so type 2 isotherm is sigmoidal in shape and in it occurs when gases undergoes physical adsorption onto non porous solid to form mono layer followed by multi layer formation and deflection into the type 2 curve is the indication that mono layer formation is being completed and we are moving on to multi layer formation of a gas molecules onto the surface of silica so to explain this particular graph three gentlemen Bronner, Emmett, and Taylor, they came and they described by deriving an equation which is being known as Bate equation. The equation is being written as P upon Y in bracket P0 minus P is equal to Ym1 upon Ymb plus B minus 1 upon Ymb multiplied by P upon P0. Now the terminologies which are involved into this equation are P is nothing but it is the pressure of the adsorbate which is getting adsorbed at which the mass Y of vapor per gram of adsorbent is adsorbed. P0 is the vapor pressure when adsorbent is being saturated with the adsorbate vapor. It is saturation vapor pressure. Ym is the quantity of the vapor adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent when the surface is being covered with monomolecular layer. So saturation of adsorbent is taking place with the quantity of the adsorbent and that is what is Ym is. B is a constant which is proportional to the difference between the heat of adsorption of a gas in the first layer and the latent heat of condensation that takes place on the successive layers. Type 2, we have seen that it happens when nitrogen gas is getting adsorbed onto the silica particle and deflection into the curve, it represents monolayer formation is being complete and we are moving towards multilayer formation. Type 3 and type 5 isotherms, they are being obtained rarely in the instances when heat of adsorption of the gas in the first layer is less than the latent heat of condensation into the successive layers. Similarly, type with type 4 isotherm, those of type 5, they show capillary condensation and adsorption here reaches a limiting value before we attain the saturation vapor pressure that is P0. Type 2 isotherm, it results when the value of that constant B is greater than 2 and type 3 adsorption isotherm is being obtained when value of B is less than 2 in the bait expression. So this was all about the adsorption isotherms. We, here we tried our level best to understand how we can derive the relationship between the amount of gas that is getting adsorbed onto the surface of adsorbent at equilibrium pressure of a gas at constant temperature. There were three adsorption isotherm equations which we handled to understand this relationship. Friendlich, Langer, and Bet adsorption isotherm equation. So this was all about the important concept that is adsorption isotherm, which is related to adsorption of gases onto the surface of solid materials. Thank you.